One of my favorite FX Factory plugins is Gritty from Awesome Final Cut Pro 10. It gives you a powerful way to design video walls or a grid of elements while keeping you free to tweak and edit timing on your main timeline. In this video, I'd like to show you some ways to get the best performance while you're working in Gritty. Gritty works amazingly well when building video walls, but the more simultaneous streams of video you add, the more strain you'll be putting on Final Cut Pro. Playing multiple streams of video is an intensive task, even with a dedicated graphics card, and especially with higher resolution footage. A couple of quick tweaks first. Disable background rendering in Preferences Playback. This will prevent Final Cut from attempting to generate renders after each effect change. Disable audio reference waveforms in Preferences Editing. This will prevent Final Cut from generating additional thumbnail waveforms on clips. Use a single display, especially if your system only has integrated graphics. Using dual monitors can take resources away from your graphics card. If you have a lot of video streams, you can generate proxies. Choose the media, right-click and select Transcode Media, then choose Create Proxy Media, your preferred codec, and a smaller frame size. After they're created, switch to Proxy Preferred in the View menu above the Viewer pane. Using proxies should be easier on your system while you're working. You can disable layered connected clips on your timeline and work on each stream one at a time. Disable clips using the V key. Before exporting, re-enable to make the clips visible again. After setup, you can disable instances of the gritty effect per clip in the video inspector by unchecking the effect. Be sure to re-enable them again in the inspector before export. Use some or all of these tips to improve the performance of Final Cut Pro on your system for Gritty and any other plugins that might want a speed boost. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com. Subscribe to this channel for more great videos every week.